All right. See that blue bottle, spray bottle? See the all natural organic green one behind it? Which is just the exact same stuff. I've been putting this stuff on my door for about four or five days now. The shampoo back there in the brown bottle, which is made by Oster, Flea and Flea Egg and Tick Killer, hasn't done a damn thing for my dog. There's another flea. So, I shampooed and doped her up on this stuff days ago. As you can see, the fleas are still here. Every time I walk outside with her to let her go potty, these fleas jump on her like they're raising them outside in the backyard. Poor dog. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share that, how pathetic these chemicals are. And you have to ask yourself, what is the real result going on here? What really is the outcome here? And uh, who really is benefiting? I mean, are the flea and ticks, flea eggs really getting dying? Or is my dog just being doped up on chemical? You know what I'm saying? Because anything that they put out claiming one thing really might have an effect on it, might alter it, but ultimately in the end it's just a bunch of pipe smoke. Anywho, let me go ahead and get off of here, but I just wanted to share that. But beware of the chemicals you use with your dog. It's more likely to be water and shampoo and not do a damn thing. I do want to say that the other day when my dog had, oh my, probably about 80 fleas on her, maybe a couple hundred. And I stuck her in that shampoo and doped her up and soaked her up real good and washed her off on the back porch when I brought her in, dried her off. Several hours later, the fleas that didn't wash off of her that were still on her just rejuvenated and got up and got back to doing business. So, uh, my fear is that all these different chemicals and cans and solutions are just a bunch of bullshit. And, I'm sorry, but oh, they're just one flea, just jumped. It sucks because nobody should have to live like this and go through all this. And I was really bent the other day when I had done her all up in that soap and shampoo and I did all up on her head and under her collar and around her face. And then I come back the next day, or like two days later, and all right in here. All right in here was a big, nasty, dirty patch of these worthless bastard-ass fleas. And I, I don't want to say they were eggs, because it's almost like there's eggs, but it was just a nasty little piles of shit that they'd shed everywhere. So I bathed her again. And I was uh, just amazed at how many fleas were right there and how they were so alive. Look, there's another flea. That's what I do to them. So, yeah, here at the hotel where our, my efficiency apartment room is, I have to fight the fleas. Oh, boy. Anyways, everybody, have a great day. And I do not believe these chemicals are worth a damn. I do believe that a true solution to fighting these fleas might have something to do with some kind of plant oil that draws the moisture out of them. Um... You might remember um, that one dude that used to be on TV years ago. He had the funny uh, um, Joe Dirt hairdo. And uh, he was the uh, pet guy or the uh, pest control guy. Him and his brother. Well, anyways, they'd go around to all these different houses and break walls down and tear side walls out just to get to the bees and this and that. Anyhow. This is that chemical they used that would hit those bees and just immediately take effect on them. And within like five minutes, they would be dead. That oil right there is the solution. That much I will 
say. I do believe it. I believe it has an effect on their wings. I believe that it draws the moisture out of their bodies and kills them. I do believe that. Anyways, that I think would be the only solution we'd ever need for this flea problem. Peace out. Have a great day.